Travel update, Philippines. Good news, bad news, not so good news. We got it all. We're going to talk about it, so stick around. All right, YouTube friends. Hope everybody's doing well. I wanted to jump on today and just talk about a couple of things. First and foremost, Apparently, there's been some movement. The IATF updated some of their protocol information. The most important thing is the proof of vaccination. Now, there's some YouTubers that are saying now that uh, basically they'll accept your physical proof of vaccination card. Now, I've read the IATF resolution and I am not seeing it there i'm gonna put a screenshot of it up here and i'm gonna you can pause the video and read it and it does not say anything about a physical document it what it's saying is you need a state or national digital certificate and i'm going to tell you what that is because we have it here in new jersey i've not been able to get it to work ours is called docket it's a state app that is supposed to provide you with and it's not just for COVID. it's for all your vaccinations um I, we've not uh, messed with that because we work for one of the big major health networks in the state uh all our stuff is there but we don't have a digital um document from our company that we work for so when we travel, if this is still in place, I'm going to have to figure out how to get this docket app to work because it generates a QR code. That's what they're looking for. I might be mistaken if anybody else um, can show me where it says as of uh, the past few days, official notification that they are accepting physical document you know physical vaccination cards show me because i can't find it and i see other vloggers are saying that 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 is the case now and i hope that it is but and i hope that it is and i just can't find it but i my wife looking she i she read it a couple times and she said the same thing no it's they're looking for the digital a digital certificate so if you're traveling anytime soon to the Philippines now that these rules have changed definitely you need to figure this out because there's conflicting information and I have seen a couple other vloggers reporting as I'm reporting that it is a digital certificate or the yellow vaccination card that I talked about in a couple videos ago that you can purchase on the uh, US government bookstore book site or you can get off of Amazon and bring it to your healthcare provider uh, and have them fill it out for you uh, and stamp or sign it whatever the procedure is to do that so that that can be given as your vaccination proof if you're not able to get one of these digital uh, certificates but I would check with your state check with your state Department of Health because I would think we don't have a national one in the United States but uh, I would check with your state as I said we have one here in New Jersey it's called docket they might be I know there's I know docket is used in other states I know they have it in uh, Utah I believe is using docket maybe a couple of others but I think they have other ones in other states by other names for the same purpose of accessing your vaccination records and generating a QR code. I guess you would show it on your phone and they will scan it there, get your uh, vaccination statistics uh, that they require. So, pretty important stuff. Conflicting information out there, but again, the official IATF resolution, I cannot find anything about them accepting physical documents so again anybody can show me that please do uh, if I'm mistaken I'll I'll post a rebuttal uh, 
admitting that I was wrong. Uh, and I might be. I might be. Maybe I'm missing something. I don't know. But for me, I'm just jumping. I wasn't even going to talk about this anymore because I, I just filmed the, uh, the next video in our series. Cost of living in the Philippines. Can you afford it? Uh, which will be coming out real soon. This was important, and I know since I came in and did a couple of uh, travel update videos myself, I didn't want to not enter into it with this very important um, subject. Even I checked Philippine Airlines, their, arri their updated arrival um, information that they have you check. Uh, just, and they're very thorough. You know they're very thorough. No mention of bringing your international, like, you know, your national vaccination card. And for you non-American citizens, Canada, UK, Australia, wherever you're coming from, check with your government for a app of some kind or a digital. That's what they're looking for. So right now, I would check into that because that seems to be the easiest route uh, or doing the buying those yellow cards and filling those out or if somebody can show us in this IATF resolution where it says physical documents then you're good to go but I don't think it's there I think someone a couple of vloggers popular vloggers uh, miss are misreading this unless they're getting their information from somewhere else I don't know while we're on the subject of travel there was a uh, on the official philippines news agency uh, website there was a story uh, that went something like this iatf asked to include u.s and canada in the no quarantine list as we know now green list countries green lane countries which the list was updated i'm going to show that too that was just updated uh no the u.s and canada are not on it yet or uk Presidential advisor Joey Concepcion uh, asked the IATF to consider including U.S. and Canada in that green list, which would mean uh, any passengers, internet, fully vaccinated international passengers from the U.S. and Canada. And I would think if they're going to put the U.S. and Canada on there, they're probably going to put some other countries on there that aren't on there that we would like to see on there at the same time here or at least we're seeing a little dialogue does what does it mean i don't know hopefully something good i'm still trying to figure out how china got on that green list didn't didn't the didn't covid 19 originate in china how'd they get on the list but anyway not gonna go there but at least somebody's asking the IATF to consider adding the US and Canada to the green list. So let's see if they listen. So with that, I'm gonna wrap this one up. If you like the video, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't. If you've already subscribed, we're very grateful. As I said in previous videos, we're trying to get to 500 subscribers. We're closing in on 400. We got a little ways to go. We're a little baby infant size channel that we're trying to get the 500 so we can use the uh, community tab so we can communicate with the guys in between the uploads with photos and little posts and uh, sharing information and stuff in between the uploads so apparently they've lowered the threshold of that from a thousand to 500 so we'd really love to get there and we'd love any help that we can get from you all uh, getting there Again, if you're watching the videos, if you've been to the channel a couple times and you've not subscribed, please consider doing so. But that's going to do it for today. As we always like to say, wherever you are in the world, stay well, stay safe, stay blessed. We're going to see you very soon with another video. So take care and thanks a lot for watching.